got a uh, piece of property here, raw land in Connecticut, four acres, just over four acres, 4.17 or something like that. It's a rectangular piece of property. It's uh, approximately 150 feet by something like, uh, you know, uh, 400 feet deep or some shit like that, 500 feet maybe. Um, 4.17 acres. It was sold back in January of 2006 for $120,000, believe it or not. So the owner lives in Manchester. It's a guy about 64 years old. He paid $30,000 an acre for this property. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be shocked when I when I point it out to you guys. This is a, a rural country road off of Routes uh, 14 in Canterbury, Connecticut. It's a tax foreclosure. This guy owes uh, several years of taxes going back to around 2016. Um, taxes as of August 31st amounted to $8,700. So probably closer to, to $9,000 now on the taxes owed. Um, you know, the... Uh, Attorney filed a, a, an affidavit as far as uh, wanting uh, legal fees, handling the auction. He wants about uh, thirty-five, thirty-seven hundred dollars. So, you figure the opening bid on this this will be about twelve thousand, thirteen thousand dollars. Which, considering the property is appraised at around sixty-eight thousand, and that the guy paid one hundred twenty. You know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand might might be a cheap deal here, but let me show you what this looks like here, guys. Where's the uh, reverse here? Come on, guys. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the country road we're on here, guys, and that's the fucking property there. Is you got about 150 feet of road frontage here, and it goes back. It does drop off some, maybe a 25 degree drop, and part of the property is in a flood zone. The the furthest away from from the road here is in a flood zone, so maybe 20 25 percent of the property you cannot use. Does seem to be a bit of traffic here. There's a lot of old farms here and stuff on the road, but this particular piece of property is overgrown. It was previously zoned for single-family commercial, or no, excuse me, single-family uh, residential. Okay, so you'd have to pull new permits on that and uh, see what the uh, what the uh, minimum property size is here. I'm not sure what it is here in Canterbury, Connecticut. But the road is, you know, it's a pretty quiet country road. There's, there's old farms up and down. A couple nicer houses, a couple shittier houses on here. So I'd say it's, it, it's uh, you know, on a 1 to 10 scale as far as the uh, the location, I'd call it maybe a 5 or 6 at, at best. You have to do a lot of cutting here to, to, to establish a, a site to build the property on. Even just to put a fucking camper down, you got to cut your way through here. So, four acres in Connecticut going to be auctioned. Let's see here. What is this auction? Let me find it here for you guys. Sorry about that. Just happened to be driving by here. And I pulled this. Uh, I think it's in December. December. Where's the auction date? Auction date. I think it's something like December 14th, thereabouts. Uh, so, about a month and a half away. Um, you know, the guy hasn't paid the taxes in in something like uh, six, seven, eight years. Um, so, it remains to be seen if he put, you know pulls a rabbit out of his hat and pays the taxes, or if he pulls the ace in the hole, the bankruptcy card. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the guy's plans are. You can always do that at the last minute. Some of them do that here in Connecticut, and that stops the sale flat. 
and then it, it could still be sold down the road but uh, that's that's how we operate here in Connecticut we got this old land here you know probably this was once uh, farmland that's been overgrown um, it is on a, like a 100 year flood zone running through it uh, not through all of it just maybe a, at most a, a third of, of the of the furthest back so four acres in Connecticut uh, going to be auctioned off in December. I'll put a link once I post the video in the uh, description as to the uh, the auction particulars if anybody's interested in this in this land here in Connecticut. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.